the style that I'm reporting on the data display with is one that I'm calling marker with text and what it has is it has, uh, let me just go back to the settings, it has a circle that we've placed in the middle of each cell of the analysis grid with some text and rounded off to zero decimal places. It has these color values that go from like warm to colder, R, O, Y, G, B, red, ye red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Uh, this is the map between a range of the maximum and the minimum values that it measures on those surfaces. Then I have a legend that would come in here to the to report on the results. And I get my data. I just roll back a little bit so you can see this. Uh, so in reporting the data, I can either look uh, cumulatively for the results in British thermal units, or what's the average in British thermal units, or what is the peak value with it within the cells of the uh, the analysis grid. I'm going to go with uh, cumulative. I've also got the option of saying, you know, show me it as watt hours per square meter or kilowatt hours per square meter. Just show that that's the changing the values. And I'll, I'll stick with British thermal units. I just want to show you that you're changing, you can change the readout. And um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the surface just so you can see what I'm seeing. Is there's the color coding with the results in the center of the analysis grid. So as I as I increase the resolution of the analysis grid, I'm going to get more uh, readout. As I decrease the analysis, I would get less. So I'm going to roll it up until I'm. I, I, don't, I notice it doesn't say 100%, but that's really as, as fine a grid as I can get on the surface. 